Hello, welcome to Code Conversations. Today we're talking to Nate McMaster. So Nate, you're on the ASP, ASP.NET team, but you're going to be showing me MS Build. Right. On the ASP.NET Core team, we use MS Build all the time. Okay. And MS Build for .NET Core is really new, which is why I wanted to show kind of the basics of what it does today. Great. Okay. So we're going to dive right into some code then. Sounds great. Here I have a .NET new project. And there's lots of material already on like how to install .NET, how to use it. We're using Visual Studio Code. So if I have a basic project, I have cs.cs mm -hmm. files for C Sharp and csproj. msbuild is the csproj file. It's the magic that happens between .NET Run and your program actually producing output. .NET Run actually did two things for us, the first of which was .NET Build. Okay. Now you'll notice Microsoft Build Engine, mm. that's long for msbuild. msbuild, right, okay. MS Build is an orchestrator. It takes a bunch of different technologies and puts them together. So it takes the C Sharp compiler, NuGet, uh, Visual Studio, Visual Studio Code, the command line, and ties them all together. Okay. Most of the way that it works is controlled in XML in this file. So what if I want to do something simple like change this file that's produced? It defaulted to app. There's a setting called assembly name. Uh, we'll call it whatever. If I do .NET build, you'll see now it produces a new file name, right? Okay. So there are lots of really cool things you can do in MS Build. A lot of these you'll find automatically in Visual Studio with the GUI editor. It'll add things to your project. Okay. Uh, there are others that you won't find. For example, my favorite is import. We often have common settings between a bunch of projects we want to share. So for example, over in this file I have packages.props. Let's say I want to make sure all of my projects are using the same version of json.net. I can define a custom property in this file and import it here into this project. And that gives me access to a new variable. So I can add a project reference to Newtonsoft. And we said that variable name was JSON net version. Ah, okay. So simple. You define a you mm -hmm. define a constant somewhere else, and then you pull it in here. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. A variable. Yeah. Right. Um, of course, I have to give it the right file path for that to work. <laughs> <laughs> this is great if uh, to save you from having to update lots of individual files. Okay. The second thing I want to show you is directory build props. MS Build is smart enough to look up your directory structure. So I have here my app in a folder, and above it, directory.build. MS Build automatically found this property here, company, and used that as a part of building the project. You didn't have to add anything to your CS project. It was just automatically added. OK. So it knows to find that just by convention? By convention, yeah. OK. OK. The next thing we can do to extend MS Build is we can actually add custom steps into way, the way that our project compiles and builds. I'm going to show this using VS Code's integrated terminal, which is just a command line that pops up right here in the window. Let's look at this project. Say I have a web project that has a gulp file. Mm -hmm. Gulp is a JavaScript thing that's going to compile some JavaScript and CSS for me. If I want it to build gulp or run gulp every time I build in Visual Studio and from the command line, I can use something called a target. Okay. So target is defined in your csproj file. We're going to write a new one called run gulp. And we want this target to run after the main build step. Now target contains a series of steps. We're going to add just one called exec. Okay. And we're going to start up node. To make this work, we have to give it node and a path to where gulp is contained. And in my gulp file, I added, if we look at gulp real quick, a task called compile. This is a dummy, of course. I'm not actually okay. building JS, but that's but where, I, that's where I would have put it all, yeah. Now in my website project, I first need to do .NET restore to get everything loaded. And next, .NET build. So it does the, the normal .NET build, and then it mm -hmm. does, and you can see in the console there. Yep. Wow. First it compiled the website project, and then it ran our gold file. Great. OK. So th that's really cool. And like you're saying, that's an exact step. I could do whatever I wanted there. I mean, I could shell out to Node or whatever I needed at yeah. that point. Yeah, Git, uh. Node. Okay. Python, you name it. Wow, OK. Mm -hmm. So all this code's going to be in the repo for, the, for this show. Yep. So, all right. OK, cool. Thanks.